This morning, we're continuing our ongoing conversations with pediatrician Dr. Anna Duran from UNM Children's Hospital about how to keep our kids healthy and happy. Thank you for coming back on this morning. Thank you for having me. Such an important topic today. We are in Child Abuse Prevention Month now, so it is a good time to help all parents, especially new parents, understand how to cope with a crying baby or a toddler who's having a tantrum. So let's start with the infants here. What are some of the reasons that they're crying? What, what's normal when it comes to crying? I think we can all agree that crying is a normal part of being an <laughs> infant or a baby. Right. Um, you know, babies cry for a number of reasons. The most common things are they have a need. They're hungry, right. they need their diaper changed, they're uncomfortable for some reason. And you know, a lot of infants can cry up to two to three hours within the first six weeks of their life. And as new parents, it seems actually a lot longer. Oh yeah. It, Part of that is you're exhausted. And so two to three hours of crying in, in a 24 hour period can be absolutely overwhelming. So, you know, when babies are crying, some of the things you can do is first off, the common things, make sure they're not hungry, mm -hmm. burp them, change their diaper. If they seem like they have a fever, you wanna seek medical care, particularly in the first eight weeks of life because a fever can be something very serious for infants of that age. You can try different holding positions, rocking, patting, rubbing your baby's back. Now you also can introduce a pacifier after four weeks of age, particularly if your baby is breastfeeding. And then of course vibrations can be soothing. Walking them, putting them in their car seat, taking them for a ride in the car or a swing. Oh, been there, man. The car saved our life so many <laughs> times to get her to fall asleep. All right, let's move up in age now. Talking about toddlers, those terrible twos, oftentimes it's also the terrible threes. What do we do here? Overwhelming. Right? Wow, Temper yeah. tantrums. You don't know what to do. So, you know, children, particularly toddlers at this age, they don't have the vocabulary to express their frustrations. Mm. And this is really what we're seeing. When babies are hungry, when children are hungry, tired, cranky, these are the things that can trigger them. So, you know, it's, it's important to recognize when your child might have a temper tantrum. You want to plan for that. If you're going to go out and outing, try to do it when they're not tired. Try to do it when they're not hungry. You want to make sure that if your child is having a temper tantrum, you remain calm. Yelling just makes it worse. Mm -hmm. You can also try to distract your child with something else. A toy, a, you know, let's go outside. Um, it's important not to give in to their demands. If they are having a tantrum because they want something, don't give that to them. It will just make their temper tantrums kind of that reinforcement. If I have a temper tantrum, I'm going right. to get what I want. Right. And then finally, set some boundaries for your toddler. During their temper tantrums, don't let them hit. Make sure they know it's not appropriate to bite or throw things. And then finally, never punish your child over having a temper tantrum. That includes spankings. Okay, so let's give the parents some advice here on how we can deal with this when the kids are crying. You can stay calm. You know, during Child Abuse Prevention Month, it is important to recognize why we are here. We do have a lot of evidence that shows shaken baby syndrome is a common factor that happens because children are crying and parents are overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So it's important, first off, as a parent, if you are feeling overwhelmed, it is okay to ask for help. It is so hard to be a parent, particularly a new parent. I always say you're like in survival mode, mm -hmm. right? So it is okay to ask for help. Call a family member, call a neighbor, call a friend, just so somebody can give you a few moments of rest so you can kind of recoup and get you know, not be so so overwhelmed. Now, if nothing works, you can't find anybody to help you, it is okay to put your baby in an empty crib, shut the door, and walk away. Your baby will be safe in that empty crib. You really wanna take a break from the crying, and then just go and check on your baby every couple of minutes to make sure they're doing okay. I promise crying, they will be okay. Yes, and they will not remember it by the time they're grown-ups, right? <laughs> Dr. Duran, thank you so much for all of the great advice. So many good things to keep in mind here. And we're gonna have her back next Monday with another topic. For now, we'll be right back.